to the vlog. Today's Wednesday. It is 8 a.m. Um, I thought I would take you guys along for a little morning routine because I'm still trying to figure out what my mornings look like living at home. So I think Lauren's just awake and my mom maybe, but my parents are still in their room. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys along the morning with me, show you kind of like how I get my morning going. Um, and if any of you guys live at home and you're trying to like work from home or like study from home or anything like that, I hope this can kind of like give you or just be relatable for you because it's definitely been hard to like get back into a routine that is productive and I don't get distracted by everyone here. So Lauren and I are sharing a bathroom now. Um, I'll show you guys kind of how we've organized things. Majority of my um, stuff under the sink, I've got all my hair care stuff here. Then I've got skincare, um, contacts and teeth whitening stuff, and then extra like shampoo and conditioner. Here's my sink. Then we just combined all of our skincare because we kind of share things, but I've got most of my stuff like on this side. I'm trying to be quiet because my parents' room is right there. And I ran out of my electric toothbrush head, so I'm back to a regular toothbrush, which is really weird. I'm gonna wash my face. This is the Youth to the People um, facial cleanser I picked up during the Sephora sale. It is really, really good. It's just like a good everyday cleanser. I cannot see, so putting my contacts in. I switched from monthlies to dailies uh, a few years ago. I like them so much better. They just feel better on my eyes. Okay, still using the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. I did change the formula of it. I don't like it as much, but uh, Lauren uses the Polish Choice one, which I've tried and it's really good as well. My hair, guys, I was left with it wet last night and it's gone a little crazy. And the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I have got to work out today because I haven't worked out since probably a week ago. Um, I was in Dallas with Mohammed since yesterday, so today is kind of like when I'm getting back on track day. And it's the middle of the week, so I'm a little thrown off. Okay, I'm going to fix this hair of mine. Anyone who's like, oh, I wish I could see her hair more voluminous. Here it is, guys. <laughs> I am 
gonna drink this cup of coffee um clean a little bit in this office because i was unboxing some packages yesterday like i said i got back from dallas like maybe six o'clock so i just took a shower and like went to bed um after dinner because i was so tired also staying in my pajamas probably until i change my clothes to go work out that's usually what happens this is a henley top gray henley top gray joggers these are tommy john i'm working with them on today's video and they gave me a discount code for you guys it's 20 percent off site-wide with code amanda saw it until december 17th i also think things like this make really good gifts like if you want to pick something up to give to someone i'm going to show you guys a little haul Mohammed usually calls me on his way to work, so I'm gonna try to do this haul before he wakes up. Also, excuse this rug back here because my mom and I are gonna move it today. I am determined to get it out of here. I'm thinking about giving this set to Lauren because it's the same as the gray one, but it's like a light green color. It's so comfortable. It fits true to size and um, Tommy John's designed for motion, so the pants on the shirt aren't gonna like ride up or bunch up or like twist around whenever you're like sleeping or you know just going about your day which is really nice i slept in these joggers the past two nights um the gray ones and i can never sleep in pants but i can sleep in these okay this pajama set is like a dark green color I wanted to show you all an up close because you can't really tell in the mirror there we go so this is what the color looks like and if you want something that's a little bit looser this would be a really good option it has buttons all the way down elastic around the waist there's not a drawstring um and yeah, that's what it looks like. And I just got my true size and everything. So everything that I'm showing you guys fits true to size. This is the last set I got. Matching pajama set like the last one. Um, it's black, but it has lace. It has some lace on the sleeves and then it goes all the way up like that. And then it's also on the very edge of the pants right here. I'm beating myself up because I should have got this in a bigger size to give to my mom, but I will just have to order them. I know she would love something like this and her birthday is actually coming up this weekend. So if you guys want to celebrate softness season with Tommy John, you can use my code Amanda Saw to get 20% off your order. I'll leave the discount code down below if you guys want to check that out. First things first, I'm going to go through my inbox and see what I need to reply to ASAP and what can wait just so I know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to clean this room a little bit because as you can see, there are some boxes over here and I feel like my life is just boxes. But if any of you guys live with your parents or you live with people who are just on a different schedule than you and you're easily distracted by and stressed out by other things or your surroundings, wake up a little bit earlier than everyone because it has changed my entire day and my productivity. Um, I try to wake up like an hour or two before everyone and it's not like super super early but i'll usually like pre fetch her and then just stay awake because i can get things done and then once everybody wakes up and if they like come say hi or or just like i'm in the kitchen with everyone and you know everybody's doing a thousand things going about their day it doesn't stress me out as much because i have gotten some things done and i know what i'm doing for the day i think it's just been harder on me obviously because i've lived on my own for so long and now that i'm back home it's definitely been an adjustment so that's just my little tip for anyone that's in the same situation. Almost 
11. But that's usually what time I wake up here on my tennis shoes. Oh. Okay. Get a quick workout in. This is going to be hard because I have not worked out, like I said. And I'm going to come back and do laundry. I don't wear any makeup, but I do put eyebrow gel on so I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. Not a color, just clear brow gel. Shoot that. Should show you guys my outfit. <laughs> I'm very zoomed. Sorry. Okay, Jim OOTD. This is my Adidas jacket. It's really nice because it cinches in at the waist back here. Or you can pull it out like that and just wear it comfortably. But I like to cinch it in. It has pockets. I've got my APLs on, which are so comfortable to work out in. Just reminded myself that I need to order more in a different size in hers because I ordered her some APLs for her birthday, but they were too big. Anyways, little lemon leggings. And I've got a little black top under here. I think I might just wear it like this and work out like this. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle and head to the gym. Just got back from the gym, I took a shower, and I am making a lunch, so I'm gonna make a salad. We had salmon and potatoes for dinner last night with some vegetable soup, so I'm heating up the salmon and potatoes for leftovers, and then I'm gonna make a salad. So I picked up a spring mix from Trader Joe's yesterday and some arugula. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. I thought this would be good just as like a vegetable for um, lunches because we always have leftovers, so I usually eat that for lunch, but I don't wanna cook a green, so this is just like easy. Oops. Then I'm gonna do some cabbage, some red onion, cucumbers, and banana peppers. I added some Kalamut olives. I'm gonna do just a dash of olive oil, some red wine vinegar, some salt and pepper. This doesn't look that appetizing, but it's salmon and potatoes, and this is gonna be my lunch for today. While I eat, I thought I would answer some questions that you guys asked me for a Q&A, which I meant to do this sooner, but I've just been so busy trying to get back on track, like find a schedule, a routine, moving back home, so we'll answer them now. What has been the biggest advantage and disadvantage of moving home? Biggest advantage, obviously, being close to my family, spending time with them. Um, I love how at night we all eat dinner together. We all sit on the couch and drink tea together. And it's just like kind of like the catch up time because everyone's like busy during the day. Like my dad's at work, Lauren's in school, Naeem's in school, my mom's um, always doing something. And it's just nice at the end of the day, we can all hang out. The biggest disadvantage for me in my life right now is just because since I work from home, I've had to like, Try to figure out a schedule like you guys have been seeing um with working from home so it's getting easier but i would say that that's probably just the biggest disadvantage what's your plan for a honeymoon i think it depends like what time of year we get married and with the timeline we're looking at now i would love to go somewhere international just because we have traveled quite a bit we, we've been to mexico a few times together even though mexico is beautiful and it's a great place for a honeymoon i think the maldives is beautiful i just don't think by next year i'll be ready to take such a drastic international trip i mean that is a <clears throat> very long travel trip it's like the other side of the world and i just remember when lena and omar went she said how far away it is and it's just exhausting and I really want to go somewhere not that far away so I don't think we'll do the Maldives for our honeymoon and um, we like a mixture of relaxation and adventure so somewhere that we can do both of those things I know you mentioned you wanted a small wedding are you worried about whether some people will feel upset about not getting invited no um I think we're finding out that we'll have around minimum 200 people which in the arab world i think is smaller considered smaller i will say that we won't be having children at our wedding for many reasons i've been to so many weddings 
and I see children running around crazy, um, tearing down flowers, decorations, ruining first dance pictures, everything. Um, I don't know if it's children in general or just children in the Arab world or maybe just children that <laughs> I have been at the weddings that I've been to, but Muhammad and I are on the same page and everyone in our family is on the same page. There will not be any children at our wedding. If we invite someone who has children, uh, we are going to have something in, in the invitation that says the number of people the invitation is for. So say we give it to someone who has like four kids, they would get only an X amount of invites. And then on the invitation, we'll have something that says, this is an adult only party, please do not bring your children. <laughs> we haven't figured all that out yet, but basically. And so my only big thing is really that. Lauren? Oh. I just, you make me I literally checked your location to see where you were. I'm, not, I'm in like hyperlighting shop. I'm okay, sorry. let me make you some food. I went ahead and screenshotted a few more questions. A lot of these are wedding related, so um, this one isn't. Someone said, how many kids are you and Muhammad wanting to have? <laughs> Which, I don't think I've answered this before. We actually talked about this the past, this past weekend. I don't think I'll know how many, or we'll know how many kids we want to have until we start having kids. Because I'm sure Lena. I think Lena thought she wanted four kids, and the other girl thinks she wants two. I know. Like, I see Lena and Omar with Elena. I'm like, how obviously hard it is to work and have children. And I just feel like I mean, we'll never know until we're like in that dynamic situation. situation. Last question Have you decided on a color scheme for your wedding? So. Not exactly. It all depends on the venue that we choose. And with the top one that we're looking at right now, we're going with all like neutral colors, which I would have gone with anyway, because like that's what white. I like. No, I don't really know if I want to do like all white or like champagne and white. But no pink, right? No pink. I don't want pink either. Yeah. So we'll see. I love the like, um, baby's breath mm. but i don't know it just depends on what time of year we have our wedding because it's like in the summer yes. i don't think it makes sense to have all this baby's breath because it just reminds me of like winter winter time kind of you know whimsical, yeah so we'll see this is my outfit for today super casual brown top these are my new lulu's jeans i actually i'll link them below if they're still available but i cut them to be a little bit shorter because they were pretty long and then this is an asos cardigan which is so comfortable this is my favorite cardigan i got this year um and i know they'll have a sale for black friday so i'll link it down below and then i've got my missouri jewelry on i also have these little diamond hoops i have a missouri haul in the last vlog and there is a sale coming up so i will let you guys know over on instagram when that's up this is a hair oil specifically for curly hair it's an everyday gloss and i love this so much i got it during the sephora sale it smells like gummy bears but it gives your hair such a nice gloss so i washed my hair let it dry and I just run my fingers through this to kind of like separate the curls a little bit and give my hair a little bit of a shine and for anyone who has curly hair if you want a like an oil for not like a treatment oil but just something to style your hair with this is such a good option it's from a brand called bread I had never heard of this brand before um, but I do believe it is a clean hair care product and we'll do a little lip I'm just gonna do a fenty gloss this is fenty gloss balm actually i haven't used this in a while this is fenty glow i think that's what the color is i also went and stole lauren's patrick ta blush i don't know if you guys can tell but i ordered it from the sephora sale so I can't wait to get it in because I, you can actually tell that I'm wearing, well, I don't know if you can in this lighting, but I can tell and I really like it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this morning routine. It's definitely going to be like a learning progress process of 
coming back home and working from home. So if you have any tips that I didn't talk about or that I'm not already doing, let me know and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.